Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS, passionate about your life. Hypertension or high blood pressure is a common condition in which the long-term force of the blood against your artery walls is high enough that it may eventually cause health problems such as heart disease. In Kampala alone, 200,000 people die annually due to hypertension or high blood pressure. And this is attributed to the fact that 5 of every 10 people do not know they have high blood pressure, a largely preventable condition. Dr. Amy Okello, a cardiologist at the Uganda Heart Institute, explains more. High blood pressure does not pain but continues damaging your body. So why we are encouraging World, Heart, uh, World Hypertension Day celebration is that you should take yourself to a health facility and measure your blood pressure. Dr. Okello says it is always better to continuously monitor and keep a log of your blood pressure. This can be done using a manual or automatic aneroid monitor. A blood pressure reading is given in millimeters of mercury. It has two numbers. One up and one down. Okay, the upper one is usually higher than the lower one. Okay? And this figure, the upper one, should be 140 and below. The lower one should be 90 and below. If your blood pressure is less than 140, over 90, but you have certain risk factors, you have diabetes, you, have, you are overweight, uh, maybe you have heart disease, we'll still encourage you to reduce your blood pressure to make sure that it's below 130. The first or upper number measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats and the second or lower number measures the pressure in your arteries between beats. This number tells us about the health of your heart and the health of your body. When your blood pressure goes up, it means that your kidney, your heart, your brain is getting affected. But you will not know unless you've measured your pressure. Uncontrolled high blood pressure increases your risk of serious health problems. These are people who have stroke, the body is paralyzed. People have kidney disease, you've heard of people struggling to find dialysis. What sends them there is high blood pressure, commonly. There are other diseases that cause kidney disease, but 8 out of 10 is caused by high blood pressure. People with heart attack, you've heard someone has had a heart attack in office. If you find that most of them, 7 out of 10 times, they have high blood pressure. Lifestyle is mainly responsible for rising cases of hypertension. There are some people who are born with the risk of developing high blood pressure. So blood pressure runs in your family, your, you know, your parents or your great-grandparents. Most times we don't know that your great-grandfather had high blood pressure because back then people were not measured. But now we know that it runs. But what will trigger this? We may have the risk, but how, how we live our life determines how soon you'll develop high blood pressure. If you eat food that is high in salt, so-called processed food, we're talking about uh, you know, uh, potato chips or fries, we're talking about sausages, we're talking about baked beans, we're talking about uh, you know, nyama choma. You know, when, when you go and have your roast chicken, usually the person roasting will put a lot of salt. That is raw salt. Certain drugs, you know, drugs that we buy from the pharmacy for pain medication, you know, like brufen, like diclofen, like those drugs do affect our kidneys and put us at risk of high blood pressure. Women who take uh, contraceptive pills, oral contraceptive uh, pills, are at risk of developing high blood pressure because all these drugs sort of cause an, uh, an expansion in your blood volume. If you're more sedentary, you don't exercise a lot, uh, you've gained weight rapidly, you're at risk of developing high blood pressure. Scientists say that exercising at least 30 minutes every day is enough to keep hypertension away before resorting to medication. If you have nothing else going on, your pressure is high but you're healthy, they'll tell you, you know what, use diet control and li uh, basically lifestyle modification. That means that you'll exercise at least 30 minutes every day or a total of 150 minutes uh, per week. And then we'll talk to you about reducing salt, avoiding table salt or raw salt. Uh, making sure that you eat more fruit and vegetable, reduce carbohydrates, all the things eventually lead to a reduction in your blood pressure, reduction in your blood sugar, and you live a healthy life. If your blood pressure is above, is 160 and above, you'd likely be given uh, medication, but also they'll prescribe to you a lifestyle modification. Again, exercise, diet, including salt. In an effort to increase awareness, the Ministry of Health has earmarked the Sundays in July as physical activity days to emphasize the importance of physical activity for reducing non-communicable diseases, including hypertension. Walter Mwesije, NTV.
National Medical Stores, NMS, passionate about your life with support from the Ministry of Health. Procure, store and distribute essential medicine and medical supplies to all government health facilities in Uganda.